one and welcome. We are surrounded by pageantry and tradition, and it's clear to see that college football will be at its best today. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. All right, guys, here's our first look at this offense today. And here comes the quarterback. And one thing you know for sure, with this team, as he goes, so goes the offense. And he's a big-time talent, Reese. This guy can hurt you in a multitude of ways, throwing and running the football. He's going to have to be dialed in, though, because this defense is going to give him a lot of different looks. It's really important mentally this QB is on his game. There's nothing better than opening drive, coming out as an away team. Everybody's got all that excitement, all that energy, and being able to run the football and physically exert yourself to start a football game. It's first and 10 from the 31. Looking to move it through the air. He's got his man. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. That receiver found the open space in the zone coverage, and as a defense, honestly, you just throw your hands up on that because they covered it pretty well. It was just a good play call, really nice execution. They've come out with answers on this possession and now another first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Oh man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Got three on first down at second and seven. He's looking to throw. Complete. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. QBs, when you see zone coverage, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. They have a first down at the 41-yard line. He wants to throw. Just a little off. Incomplete. And now on second down for this offense. From the gun, they'll try the middle. They'll give him a couple that leaves him with third and eight. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Snagged in the middle, it's Williamson. They are on the move as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 28. There's a reason third down is called the money. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages. It tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Fires to the right. He caught it! Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business with a first and goal. I just love the job this offensive line is doing in this game, communicating pre-snap. They know where the pass rush is coming from, and they're working their single and double teams and not giving up any ground. Just look how clean that pocket was for the quarterback to throw from. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. And he gets it back to the four-yard line and no farther. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. That's exactly what happened. They'll give it another shot on second and goal from the four. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. And he bangs his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Number seven. I think what you love about that opening drive for the offense is the balance. They were able to throw the football to set themselves up into position, and then he carries it in for the TD. 
you got to be able to keep defenses on their heels, and they did a nice job of that on this opening drive. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finished it off with the score from the four. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. And the returner is stuck. And the offense will take over. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team. And generally, games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Holding, They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. First down for this offense. Leaves it with the back. Sweet cut there. Found a little space. He'll pick up six of the 14 as they have room to operate. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Now on second down. Wide out in motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The first thing you have to do to make these plays successful offensively is I have to block the edge. I, I got to get my speedster in space. They didn't do a good job of getting that guy out there in space where he could really use his jets. Nice job by the defense understanding it, seeing it, rallying to it, and tackling that guy for a loss. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They moved the chains. They marked it at the 29. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in and week out, working on those critical down distances. Third down. So having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to be a good sign. To the air on first down. Makes the grab. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. Lots of time left, and we are ready to get back to it and open the second period. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Couldn't fight his way out of his grasp. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. And he's just run out of bounds, maybe living to fight another day there. It'll be a loss on the play. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. It's complete! Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. They're down to the 35 on first and 10. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. 
A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Gives it to the back on the draw. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. And oftentimes running backs love draw plays because there's less traffic in front of them. The offensive line is selling pass. The quarterback selling pass. They don't get the handoff until the very last possible second. So the D-line's rushed way upfield, and now it's so much easier for these backs to find their holes and pick their lanes. He's going to look for a man on third and short. Getting some heat. I'm running out, and he goes down at the 34. Give the defense tons of credit. They were not fooled. Everybody thought that was going to be a run play, but the defense didn't. They pinned their ears back. They got upfield, and they got to the quarterback. And the field goal unit is on the field. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. Between the uprights, it's good. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. And the offense takes over to dip into its bag of ball plays. The give to the tailback. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. Coach is always hard about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to it. Wide open downfield. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. He's looking to throw it. And they're not on the same page there. Four wide out set, three of them to the left on second and 10. He's looking to throw. Right down the middle. They intercept it. Never really got that return cranking, but the offense is set up at the 30. QBs have to understand, when I'm throwing against zones, I gotta manipulate guys with my eyes. I might have to look one direction to create an opening to throw that ball or send that ball in. I gotta use touch. It's really hard when all eyes are on me, and you could tell the quarterback was not ready and did not make a good throw. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Takes the easy completion. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Well, there was really nowhere to go for the quarterback with that football. He's just trying to check it down to his running back, and the defense was there, and they made the play. 
Well, after not getting a thing done on first down, it's second and long from the 24. He's looking to throw. Working that left side. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They say success rate to be picking up about four or so on first down, first and ten. He's going to pass. Just a short pass to the tight end. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Nice job, defense. You always hear people talk about tackling the catch. You saw it right there. There was nowhere for that receiver to go once he had possession. As a result, no game. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running. Second down coming. He's looking to throw. He unleashes a long one. It's complete. A huge pickup. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. They're lining up on first and ten from the 38. Looking to move it through the air. Makes the grab. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. They were able to make the completion, but he had to pick his way for just a little bit. Needed a little more help to spring him for some yardage. Yeah, if you're going to have success when you throw it outside like that, you're going to need some more blocking and better blocking downfield. Give the defense credit, though. They were able to rally and made a tackle. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. He gets it all the way down to the five-yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stopped. The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. And in the closing moments of the first half, they'll try to put a three spot on the board. It's good. He's going to hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. the end of the second quarter that means it's time to join kevin in our halftime update guys time for everyone to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw in oxford ohio and it's been said football is a game of inches and guess what based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play how can you argue that i mean the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic but really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Jaeger Stadium there on Weed Eubank Way. All teed up and ready to go here in the second half. He'll bring it back looking for help. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. First play from scrimmage here in the second half, and they'll keep it on the ground. They believe in that running game. Got six before he stopped at the 23. It's a nice game, but the big theme here is they just haven't been able to get the run game going on offense. They've been very one-dimensional, and they're just not being physical enough at the point of attack. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. He's looking to throw. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. And as a quarterback, you know when you're throwing a corner out, the football is going to travel a long distance. So you've got to have great time. You've got to get the ball out of your hands before the receivers come out of his break. You've also got to put a lot of air under the pass so the wide receiver can locate it. You can tell this quarterback has thrown a ton of these routes in practice. Hands it off. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll try to get the corner here on the jet sweep. 
That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And a great job seeing the motion coming across the formation, understanding the jet sweeps of possibility, pulling the trigger, going and getting the guy on the ground. A third down try for the offense. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Fires to the tight end. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. Just needed three yards on third down, and they got it with precision execution. And the QB got the football and got that thing out of his hands. Nice job, nice slant, nice timing route. Throw it to the receiver, get it on his body where he can make the play and get the first down. Going up top on first down. He makes the catch close to the sticks, but he'll be a little short of the first down. You see this more and more in college football. Motion the running back out of the backfield. What am I looking for? I'm looking to see if it's man coverage. Does a linebacker go and chase him? If he does, guess what I get to do? Take advantage of my matchup. I like my speed better than yours. This offense has a second down play. Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And they won't be able to connect downfield, looking for a big-time play. Yeah, that, and that was good defense again. And unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. To the ground to try to move the chains. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. That is how it's done on third down. The short, and no doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. You really want to simplify football. The low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily picked that up. Quick release by the QB. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. And there you see the bind that the RPO play could put a defender in. That linebacker had to make a decision. Was the running back going to get the ball? He thought so, so he bit up, and that allowed the slant to be thrown in behind him. Just on the edge of the red zone, first and 10 from the 21. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Not many receivers like to get hit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell he was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him to make sure he had to think about something later. And you could see the ball pop out and fall to the ground. Here's the handoff. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. I think the OC would have been really happy with a small game and, and an easier third down. But how about the effort by the running back to get this close? He, he saw the first down marker, tried to get to it, got close enough now where it's an easy situation on third down. And shoot, and I got fourth down in my pocket if I want to go for it. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Oh, it's a fumble. The offense grinds out a really good drive. They have it going and then comes to the abrupt halt with the turnover. And for that offensive play caller, he had a good thing going. He was finding a rhythm. He was mixing things together. He was doing a good job with his formations and his shifts and his motions. Looked like he had the defense on its heels. He needs his guys right now to hold on to the ball. They'll snap it from the 20 for the opening play of this drive. From the gun, running back gets the give. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll run it again. Maybe picked up a couple, he's down at the 24. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? From the gun, wants to pass. 
Throws to the wideout. It's caught downfield. And they make the tackle, but it'll be enough for a first down. And we'll see if they get another playoff here in the third. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. From the shotgun, they'll run it. How about the job by this defense? They knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It was the main focus point of this offense. Stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Running back searching for a hole. They stop him at the 42, but they're on a roll with a pickup of 15 and a first down. Man, this offense would really like to lean on this guy in the fourth quarter, right? They've got the lead, and you just saw his ability there breaking a tackle. He looks like he's getting stronger as the game goes on. I'd expect him to get a few more carries here before this game's over. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Got his man. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. I think most offenses around the country in a situation like this with a lead late would be trying to run the football, right, or throw it short and try to bleed the clock. But this offense, man, it's still pedal to the metal. They're looking for chunk play opportunities. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he splits the uprights and pushes the lead to eight here in the fourth. They march 79 yards on the drive, and the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Good news, I guess. A lot of room to work with as they start this drive from their own 15. He'll start this drive firing. It's complete to the left. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up. And they'll move the chains with the first down. Well, no question. They've got to score a touchdown to get the two-point conversion here. But that's a good start to this two-minute drive. You always want to get it going. You want to get that momentum going, put the defense on their heels. They accomplished that with the last throw. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. They'll put the tight end in motion. Leaves it with the back. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. After picking up a couple at second and eight, he's looking to throw. He's got an open man. Afterburner's coming. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Man, I tell you what, great job by this offense. Great execution. You drive down the field, you get the score. Now what's your two-point play? You practiced it all week. What's your go-to in this moment, late in the fourth quarter, when you need the two-point conversion?
Now they'll try to tie it up with the two late. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. And the defense swarms him under the two-point attempt is stopped. And so, too, is the attempt to tie the game. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Looks like he's going to try to return it. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. The give as they work on that clock. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. We've reached the two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. If they can pick up a yard here on second down, that might put this one in the books. Might as well stick with him. Keeps the legs moving. Turns it on in midfield. They got him free for a big gainer to the 43. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. They'll give it to the back. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Now on second down, and we'll probably see another run, and that might do it if they can get a first down. The give to the single back. Brought down at the 26-yard line after a pickup of 10 yards on the play, and it'll be a first down. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Looking for a productive play on first down. And it looks as if the offense will just take a knee. 